Add this play to your custom playbook to get easy touchdowns down in the red zone. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, you know my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I'm in a custom book for one of my patrons. He, he requested I put together uh, some custom, uh, custom uh, schemes for him. Um, and uh, in particular, uh, we wanted to do a bunch of under center running type stuff. So I, I wanted to go and expand and provide him some more depth. Uh, uh, so I wanted to go ahead and put together uh, some red zone plays. And one of the plays I stumbled onto is out of the gun tight flex. Uh, it's slot wheel. This is one of the more unique plays in the game. Matter of fact, I don't really think I can find this in any other playbook outside of the run and gun. So uh, obviously, if you don't want to switch your playbook, you probably don't want to do this. But if you have custom playbooks, you're in a league or you use custom uh, rank games, you might want to throw this particular play into your scheme because this is a good money play that you can go ahead and pop your opponent for some fairly easy touchdowns down in the red zone. You could probably use it a couple times, but obviously uh, if you're down in the red zone uh, and you use this play a few, a few different times, it's going to be very hard to stop. And if you create a full scheme out of it, it'd be very hard to stop. So let's, we're going to take a look at that slot wheel out of the gun tight flex. Now against cover two, which is a very common play down in the red zone, um, basically we're going to have a high-low type situation with this particular play. Uh, the, the play out with Cooks, basically we're going to go ahead and look at him as he shoots out. If the defender floats up, uh, that, that, fl that uh, flat defender on the left-hand side, if he floats up, we're going to go and rifle to Cooks because that's going to be wide open. If he plays down towards Cooks and actually defends Cooks, Wood should be in the back, should be open in the back of the end zone. Now, another thing I'll do to complement uh, Woods' route so he gets a little bit more wide open, I'm going to put a drag under, underneath it with Cup putting him on a drag route. Now, let's watch Cooks. Cooks actually gets covered, but look at the back of the end zone. The back of the end zone is wide open. I've, I've basically got two wide receivers I can hit. So we're going to drag up. We're going to watch Cooks. Now watch. See how Cooks gets open? Um, what that means is that there's an outside cloud coverage there. So I'm really just making a progression on this guy right here. And I'm watching this lane uh, with, with Cooks. If the defender doesn't float in the area and then Cooks is actually clear, I'm just going to go and rifle the ball. Look, I'm five yards out from the red zone, rifling the ball, getting an easy completion into the red zone. So you just possess, you just rifle it and just possession catch it. And essentially, he's just going to get the ball right in the end zone and get an easy completion. Now, if the defenders play down, basically this guy will be, you're going to have uh, the other guy right here who's going to be wide open in the back of the end zone if they play down. So uh, it's going to be two areas that you're getting rid of the ball extremely fast and it's going to be very hard to stop. Now, what about a cover three coverage? Once again, um, you can see right here that route is going to be available and all we're doing is just taking a look at the flat route. So this is our read. We'll look to the flat. If that's not covered, we're just going to go and just check it right there. So once again, we're going to set this up. And what I do is I also have got this backside route too if he plays cover three. So if I got a guy that's going on either side of the field, um, with uh, with his user defender. So if he starts floating over here, I've got this little uh, corner post route by the tight end is going to get actually get some separation. So uh, the only problem with this is that it, you could potentially go out of bounds. So you might want to throw this route with a little bit more depth. So 10 yards depth is going to give you a little bit more room for this guy to actually develop his route a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of times he will truncate his route once he gets down to the uh, the, the back of the end zone and usually will catch, catch it inside. But if you do catch it out of, uh, out of bounds, that's because you just didn't have enough depth. So you probably want to throw that more around 7 yards depth or 10 yards depth uh, from the red zone. Now, what if he plays cover 4? Well, Cover four um, is not going to shut this down either because you see that route actually gets right in the middle between the cover two, uh, cover four coverages. So if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover four, once again, this is actually going to do that. Uh, you can see 
uh, he just gets right in between those coverages. So this is going to be a nice little area of the field that you can pop. You can't do this consistently against your opponent uh, if you're playing these type of coverages. Uh, you could probably hit him maybe a couple times with this particular play, and you'll have to go and jump into something else, uh, maybe a draw play or something like that, or hit a sideline. So you just want to go and mix things up a little bit against your opponent. But this is a nice little play that you can run down in the red zone inside about two yards to about seven yards, uh, ten yards, to go and pop him for an easy completion uh, to get an easy touchdown. So once again, thank you for your support. If you support my channel, uh, if you like this type of stuff, go ahead and smash the like button. And I want to thank once again to my patrons for all their support and suggestions on different books that they want to see me build schemes and actually play the games online and show the good, the bad, and the ugly. So once again, thank you for your support. And until next time.